boleh main-main adat. Bagi saya tidak boleh main-main adat. Kalau Anda tahu adat, baru Anda pakai itu. Kalau Anda tidak tahu adat, jangan. Nah, dapat itu. Ya, isi paling dalam ini. Nah, potong dulu. Potong hmm. baik dulu. Baik, perkenalkan nama saya Rosita Tecuari. Saya sendiri adalah organi ketua organisasi perempuan adat suku Namrong. Last December, Rosita took me to see a part of the forest that belongs to the Namblong tribe. Namblong tribe is a group of 44 families. One of them is the Chuari family who live in a certain area within Nimbokrang sub-district in Jayapura Regency, Papua province. To get to Nimbokrang, we had to drive at least two hours from Jayapura city. As it is located in a 774 square kilometer valley, Nimbokrang has a lot of forest, which is a home for a very diverse types of plants and animals. The fresh sprouts of plants was a sign of deforestation that happened some time ago. Villages nearby used this forest for their everyday life. However, their livelihoods are currently in jeopardy as their forest is being taken over. The trees have been cut down to make way for the plantation. In 2022, the Environment and Forestry Ministry has revoked the permits of 192 companies to use more than 3 million hectares of land. However, the deforestation is very obvious and we only have a limited time to film it. We're heading back to the village. Um, let's hope that this road leads us. Let's hope we spread this road in the safest way possible. After seeing the deforestation, we went to an area where the forest was still intact. It was located not far from the area that was recently deforested. It is within the customary territory of the Namblong tribe. Now people, what's in front of me is Muayf River in the valley of Grime. Now this part of land where I'm standing is uh, a part of land that is being safeguarded by people of Namrong up until today. So let's then continue towards our location or target. Before we left the forest, we sat down together to take a little break and recharge our energy. We did not bring any food on this trip, but do not worry because the forest has provided us with what we need, calories, but not the usual one. A bit like cassava, singkong, dried out. There's a, there's a sweet taste a little to this. Mm. 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 Yeah, pretty much like a sofa. <laughs> oh, thank you. Terima kasih, Mama. Got a big chunk of another Ghana. Mm. The sustainability of the rich potential of the forests are dependent on how the Namblong tribe navigates through all the changes that are happening around them. Someone has to take the role of leading the tribe for the Tejuari family. It fell on the hand of a man named Abner Tejuari. He is the man who keeps the customary law to be implemented. Hukum ada di Namblong itu, itu hutan itu Seharusnya kita duduk bersama, pihak perusahaan, pihak pemerintah. Kita duduk bersama berunding, sesuai ketentuan-ketentuan aturan yang berlaku. 
Terus hutan yang kami menjaga dan yang kami melindungi itu untuk generasi anak cucu ke depan yang akan datang maksudnya. Jadi hutan itu kami di hukum adat tidak bisa sembarang kami menghancurkan hutan. Karena yang kami pikir masih ada generasi-generasi akan datang. Abner leads the Tetuari family in initiating a movement to take this matter to court to evict the company from their forest. After consolidating with other families, the Tetuaris spearhead the action. Rosita Tetuari joins efforts as part of Namlong Tribe Women's Movement. Karena di hutan lah terdapat makanan, kehidupan di sana. Di hutan juga tersedia obat-obatan, dan ini supermarket bagi kami masyarakat ada. Kami mau butuh sesuatu, kami akan ke hutan untuk mengambilnya. Inilah laboratorium bagi kami, dan inilah sekolah bagi kami. Kami akan belajar di sini. Di sini, kami terus akan terus berjuang untuk pemerintah harus mengembalikan wilayah adat kami, karena bagi kami ini wilayah adat tersisa. Jangan main-main adat. Bagi saya tidak boleh main-main adat. Kalau Anda tahu adat, baru Anda pakai itu. Kalau Anda tidak tahu adat, jangan. Since 2022, the Tetuari family has taken some legal action. Although the Environment and Forestry Ministry had already revoked the company's license, in reality, they have not stopped since. According to the data from the Consortium for Agrarian Reform or locally known as KPA, there were more than 4,000 land conflicts in Indonesia from 2004 to 2023. Whereas, in 1960, Indonesia established agrarian law to anticipate land conflicts. Saya pesan kepada siapapun dia pemimpin yang terpilih menjadi seorang presiden, jangan menganggap kami masyarakat adat Papua itu adalah pengacau keamanan. Kami cuma ingin mempertahankan wilayah adat kami. Kalau pemerintah Republik Indonesia ingin mengelola kekayaan yang ada di tanah Papua, datang dan menghargai kami. Meminta dengan cara baik-baik. Mengatur dengan baik karena kami adalah masyarakat.